What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys are in the fantastic day today. And today we have the 2021 review and the 2020 view preview for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. As the title would suggest, today we're going to be recapping 2021 here on my YouTube channel and all my social medias and also previewing 2022. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope you guys are on the fantastic day. As the title would suggest, and as I previously mentioned, today we're gonna to be doing the 2021 recap and the 2022 preview. We have a ton to dive into in today's video, and I really hope you guys are excited for it. With all that being said, we're gonna waste no further time and dive into the 2021 recap and the 2022 preview. First and foremost, everybody, I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support on my YouTube channel in 2021. And that's where we're gonna to begin today's video with the 2021 review. And of course, as you guys may be able to tell, this video will be split up into two main sections. We'll review 2021 in this first section, and then in the next section we'll review or preview 2022. So first and foremost, everybody, just thank you guys so much for all the support. It seriously means the world to me, and I would not be able to do this without you guys on a regular basis. So thank you guys so much for being here. I can't thank you guys enough. We have a huge preview at, in store as well for 2022 and a ton to dive into into today's video. I'm super, super excited for it. So what we're gonna do is in this section, of course, we're gonna be reviewing the year of 2021. We're gonna be breaking it down into two main sections. We're gonna take a look at all the videos and all the content and all of the timeline things that happened in 2021. And we're also gonna be diving into the analytics and your guys' engagement with these videos and all the content in 2021 as well. Then we'll preview 2022 and talk about that a little bit more in depth once we get in the latter stages of the video but let's get started with reviewing all the content from 2021 and man there was a lot i think i made around i could be wrong on this but i think it was somewhere in the ballpark of about 200 videos i'm gonna have to go double check on that but i think it was somewhere in that ballpark which is pretty pretty uh pretty significant to be quite honest i mean it probably was a little bit down from 2000 it was probably about the same or a little bit down from 2020 but that's still rather remarkable to see so many videos and as you guys can see right here on my screen I have my full channel uh, videos tab, which is going to show us all the videos. Um, I highly recommend checking out some of these videos if you guys didn't get a chance to do as such. There's some really good videos in here, and I would highly recommend checking them out if you haven't got a chance already. But we're going to be going over all these videos. Uh, in some decent detail. So the first video, of course, was the 2020 recap and 2021 preview. That was a different style. I decided to narrate that. I thought it would be a little bit more engaging and a little bit more simple if we went through it video by video like this rather than, you know, uh, doing it in a narration format. So I decided to do this and I think it's going to work a little bit better, but it was still an awesome video and I was glad to get the year started on the right foot with uh, 2021. Then we started with the brand new camera setup in the Albuquerque Sunport National Airport update i changed uh to the canon uh t6i with the 18 by 300 lens that i'm using right now for all the videos and i thought that was a huge change after getting the new lens for christmas uh that previous christmas so i was very very pleased with that and everything was really progressing well with that fun albuquerque update then we had the surprise christmas models that was another model unboxing we ended up doing about 10 of those this year and i'll talk a little bit more in detail about why it was such a low number in a little bit we had a really cool review of the american a320 that was kind of funny to get started into 2021 then we had the full collection video and i've had a lot of questions when the next collection video is going to be coming out very soon is the answer i was anticipating have one had to have one out in june sorry i could not talk today but unfortunately due to my mono illness that we'll talk more about here in a minute i was not able to do as such but it was still really cool to get this one out and it's still relatively up to date so feel free to check it out almost 5,000 views to this point then we had a variety of really cool videos including a spotting vlog the run of gym Jets three to three i want to get back to more of that and i'll talk about that a little bit more in the 2022 preview some model comparisons and mold comparisons and things along those lines and then we had our our first massive unboxing for this year which was massive unboxing 13 where we had 10 really cool miscellaneous models thank you guys for all the support on that video really appreciate it a variety of airport updates and news videos were starting to make a little bit of an appearance as well, which was very cool. Uh, the tier list rankings were going strong. They weren't as frequent as what they are right now, but we'll talk about that a little bit more in depth here in a minute. Again, more really cool spotting videos, a lot of model content. We had some reactions in here, uh, model airport announcement, uh, a uh, collab with Mile High Aviation on the uh, Providence update that was really cool. Then we had one, the probably the first biggest announcement, the biggest announcement, let me try to word this a little bit better. 
the first big announcement of the year, which was the uh, Dallas and Phoenix day trip video announcement, which I was super pleased with. Uh, so as you guys know, I was able to do a day trip on the uh, with American Airlines uh, with the Dallas and Phoenix day trip. That was absolutely awesome. And that's going to come up a lot because there's so much content from that throughout this year. We were able to complete that, which was very nice. And I would have anticipated doing as such in that video, but that was still really cool. Then we had more miscellaneous videos, more model comparisons, mold comparisons, things like that. A couple more reactions, a skin tag video. Uh, also, one thing that really became common theme, as we'll see here throughout the spring, was miscellaneous uh, aviation memorabilia uh, items that I reviewed and unboxed, which I thought was a really cool asset to the channel. Then we had a really special video right here of the last American Eagle Lumber ERJ-140 in the last old livery flight. This aircraft ended up getting retired not too long after this video, so I'm very glad that we were able to get to see it. That was so awesome. Again, more miscellaneous uh, mold comparison videos. Uh, I forgot. I forgot what I called that video series, but there was four subtitles that or four subtopics that I called them. It was something along the lines of all like model comparison, something like that. I don't see. There was four different. To, uh, topics. I don't know what I called like that full group video series, but regardless, we had all of those as well. More spotting videos, and then we had our first big channel update for the spring of 2021. This ended up getting derailed really bad, so that video kind of had some miscellaneous. Some information was right, some was wrong. Then we had the Gemini Jets March 2021 releases. This is another huge timestamp 2021 where we got the Delta Connection Bombardier Nasir the Dash 900, along with a really good release from Gemini Jets. And this is where Gemini Jets really started to make their name present in the model collecting community once again. They kind of had a really rough 2020 and into 2021 until that release set. So I was very glad to see the progression from Gemini Jets. Then we had some other really cool videos. This Gemini Jets conspiracy and theories and predictions video. This I really want to go back and watch because I think quite a bit of it was accurate, but I need to go watch. But they took a massive turn before I made that or after I made that video. So we'll have to take a look. More memorabilia videos, plenty of airport updates. Our first Shapeways unboxing, another one's gonna be coming soon, so stay on the lookout for that. More aviation news content, I do wanna get back to that in 2022 for sure. Then we had the check-in vlog in the very first video of the da Dallas Phoenix day trip, and this just proceeded on and just wrapped up a couple weeks ago. Uh, even though it had a huge hiatus, it was still super cool to uh, have the full video series in its entirety uh, during 2021. We had some live streams come back throughout here, and again, another thing I wanna get back to in 2021 significantly and more miscellaneous videos i missed mass unboxing 14 i apologize about that which was another great video and then we had mass unboxing 15 as well which turned into a very good video so i was very pleased with that as well again last spotting vlog to, to this point i really hope to get another one out soon so bear with me on that guys but there's the latest spotting vlog to this point over eight months ago which is ridiculous and then we had the announcement that Gemini Jets won the 400 skill American Eagle Bombier in a Sierra Day Dash 900. This is potentially and probably my favorite moment of the year. I had a lot of good ones and I think I have to go with this one for my favorite. I mean, this has been something that we've been waiting on for years and years and years as collectors in the one to 400 scale model airplane community. And I think we can all attest to this being such a huge moment. And I was super, super happy to see that. I can't thank you guys enough for all the support on that. But I came home one day uh, towards the end of my junior year of high school and to see that get announced was just unbelievable. So I was just super happy to see that. And that was right after I made the uh, Dallas update for that month where I had custom Shapeway here dash 900 mesa house livery customs very ironic but super super pleasing to say the least then we had some more miscellaneous videos to wrap up april before things would take a massive turn and then transitioning into early may school was beginning to wrap up and unfortunately i came down with the awful case of mono um so I'm not gonna go too far into depth about this. You guys know the drill at this point. I got mono in early May of 2021 and it completely derailed my health and my life for a significant period of time throughout the summer of 2021. Uh, it was super unfortunate and it was not something that I was a huge fan of by any means. Uh, definitely the roughest part of the year, absolutely no doubt about it. I'm still having, sorry, it looked like there was a web in front of the camera. I'm still having a hard time getting back on my feet completely. I'm doing much better if you guys can't tell with all the content that's been coming out and everything I've been doing. But I still struggle with this on a regular basis. You know, these long days are very tough to make it through and there's a lot of things going on during my senior year of high school and just everything in between. So. 
This was not necessarily the funnest thing in the world, but I did my absolute best and we did end up making it through. Then we had a channel update to kind of get back on track, tell you guys what to expect. And unfortunately, that failed miserably. Uh, we did have a good series of videos here and then unfortunately, I went way too hard on myself getting back into the groove of things and I came down again uh, very ill with pretty much another round of mono if you want to call it that, but essentially the virus reactive or like firing up if you will. Um, and it just, you know, everything built on each other and it was just a snowball. So that's what happened there, but I was able to make some good content here. I was able to prepare the uh, the second leg of the Dallas and Phoenix day trip for the June slot. And I was also able to make a few airport updates, which was awesome. Um, and then just multiple status update videos. And I was just um, telling you guys what the status of my health was. And then we had some miscellaneous videos. We finally got a little bit more on track in July uh, with some different videos throughout here, some announcement videos. And what I was able to do during the time since I was so sick, but we did our absolute best to make it through this time. And it was really rough to say the least. Transitioning into late July, that's when we had the um, the Florida trip uh, that didn't end up turning out the best, but it was still really nice to be able to do that despite not having the ideal circumstances. I think it's actually a reflection off the lens, so I apologize about that. But regardless, we still did our best with it. It turned out really well, and that's what's gonna be starting in 2022 that I'm excited to debut. Finally, some more airport updates and some tier lists getting back on track. We had a few more status update videos, and then once we made it into the school year in late August, we finally started making uh, some significant strides getting back on track with videos. Uh, we had an accumulative Dallas update for pretty much all of Q3 of 2021, which was awesome, and some Q2 as well. We had multiple airport updates finally getting back on track at long last. Uh, some miscellaneous videos, including the 9-11 tribute and my 18th birthday as well which put us into uh, more airport updates. We had the 30 model giveaway, which I can't thank you guys enough for all the support on that. That just accumulated during that time and we ended up making that huge video out of that. So, or, you know, a huge giveaway, I should say, for you guys, my bad. So thank you guys so much for all the support on that. And then we had some more model unboxings. We finally got to unbox that American Eagle Bombardier Series Dash 900, which was absolutely amazing. I was super pleased with it. Then we had the channel update for the fall of 2021 that was ahead. Was very, very happy with how that turned out. And then we just got on a really solid groove beginning in October. All the airport updates besides storyline to this point have returned, which I was super excited about. Real life content was finally back. We had the Phoenix layover vlog, which proceeded into all the content from the American Airlines Airbus A321 Neo flight, which was absolutely outstanding. Tier list finally started to get back on track as well as we had a uh, tier list Thursday, multiple videos coming out along with all those airport updates, which would precede us into November and much of the same really progressed. We finally had massive unboxing 16, which has been an amazing video to this point. I can't thank you guys enough for all the support on that video. It seriously means the world to me. And I'm really, really glad that you guys enjoyed massive unboxing 16 to this point, along with more airport updates, the American CRJ-900 invading the airport updates to say the least, which was amazing. More tier list and real life videos. And then we had some miscellaneous videos to round out the year here as we transition into December with a happy Thanksgiving video, along with a Black Friday video. What's going on with Jim and the Jets? More airport updates some more model unboxings finally making their strides in here uh in december along with uh some more fan mail and tier list videos and a really cool darren american lego unboxing some more awesome airport updates the full dallas and phoenix day trip video as well and then the wrap it up we have a couple more tier list a quiz video merry christmas to everybody the latest phoenix update and then my pilot journey begins the first video of the up and coming series of my pilot life and that's where we stand everybody on videos. It was absolutely bizarre year. There was a lot that went on between the virus, me getting mono that was just detrimental to say the least, the reactivation of when I previously had in eighth grade, and then just getting back on track this year. Honestly, all things considered, you know, outside of the mono situation, I was really happy with how this year went. Um, I had a lot of aspirations uh, just to keep this thing moving and make it through. And I think that's exactly what we did. And I was very, very pleased with the progression, everything that came out of the uh, uh, 2021. So with that, that's all the videos from this year. Absolutely crazy. Let's dive into some deep, let's do a deep dive into some analytics, pardon me. And there's a lot to go over in this regard. So let's take a look. 
So first and foremost, uh, for everybody uh, making this possible, I can't thank you guys enough. Um, it's absolutely incredible to see these numbers and it's just something that I never ever would have anticipated. So I seriously cannot thank you guys enough. So let's dive into it. 200, 92,400 channel views. That is unbelievable. Believe it or not, that is up 40,000 views from 2020. So we had about 250,000. And I seriously can't thank you guys enough for all the support on it. It just is unbelievable to see all you guys clicking on these videos, watching them. We had tons of amazing videos this year. And that's the reason that that number is so high. So first and foremost, thank you guys so much for making this possible. The next thing I would like to analyze is the watch time hours, which is at 22,400. That would come out to something along the lines of probably a lot of hundred thousands of minutes. So I seriously can't thank you guys enough for all the support on these videos and watching these these videos because uh, this watch time number is just unbelievable and I seriously cannot thank you guys enough that is a ton of watch time and I know you guys don't have to watch these videos so to see you guys watching these videos absolutely makes my day so I seriously can't thank you guys enough in the subscribers box we have 1200 subscribers thank you guys so much you guys will see one big sky right here that was from the giveaway video but we had uh progressively throughout the year about probably three subscribers a day so i can't thank you guys enough so man absolutely unbelievable the top videos of the year massive unboxing x from 2020 what a huge video that was 40,000 views, that's unbelievable. Thank you guys so much for that. Massive unboxing number 11, also picking up a lot of the traction, that's at 11,000 views. Then we have some Psycho Ape Geek videos down here as well. Then we have more massive unboxings. We have massive unboxing 12 from late 2020, massive unboxing number 15 from April of this year. We had the collection video coming in at number seven with 4,900 views. Uh, massive unboxing number nine, also from 2020. And then we have massive unboxing 13 and 14 to round out the top 10. So thank you guys so much for all of those amazing numbers as well. Looking into the reach category, pardon me, looking into the reach category, 4.3 million impressions. That is unbelievable, up 26% from 2020. That's an insane number. Thank you guys are, I mean, I can't really control that. Thank you, YouTube, for showing my content to a lot of people. Um, it's just incredible to see that many people seeing my videos and a lot of people actually clicking on them as well. I know that the 4.8 click-through rate doesn't seem that impressive, but if you look at YouTube's average click-through rate, it's not bad. 5% is a great number and I'm very pleased with it. The number was really high uh, throughout this time here in the summer, and that's simply because I wasn't making videos on a regular basis. Uh, my popular videos were being clicked on more often, and then it did see a slight decrease here, but that's just because some of the videos I just post, they don't get into the algorithm immediately, so that's why the number's a little bit lower, only down 3%, and I think that's simply because there was a lot of mono videos throughout there and kind of some different things and not a ton of content throughout the summer, but regardless, still very happy with that. And 292,000 channel views, a little bit more of a deep dive into this number. That is up 13% from 250,000 in 2020. Thank you guys for continuing to watch these videos. I cannot thank you guys enough. It's just incredible to see all support from you guys. And I seriously can't thank you guys enough. Transitioning into the traffic sources, a lot of it coming from browse features, which is the YouTube homepage. So thank you guys so much for clicking on these videos when they pop up in your homepage. I appreciate it. 23.5% of that coming from the YouTube search and uh, watch time. That's amazing. Very happy with the SEO progression uh, continuing to do its thing. Suggested videos also very popular. So thank you guys for clicking on these videos when they're popping up on the sidebar when you're watching videos and then some channel pages and some others throughout here as well. A couple notifications, but mainly you guys finding on the homepage. So thank you guys so much for that. Well, again, 4.3. A million impressions, which comes out to a 4.8 click-through rate, which is all these views from the impressions. So thank you guys so much for that. So believe it or not, two thirds of my content is actually from these impressions um, on the uh, suggested videos, search, that sort of thing, which is just incredible. And then plenty of watch time as well, about a little bit over half. So thank you guys so much for all that. Um, some different sources here providing the uh, watch time as well, which is nice. And along with all the playlists, uh, Mass Unboxing playlist, carrying it strong. So thank you guys for checking out these playlists. I appreciate it. 
very much so appreciated. And then all the suggested videos as well uh, coming from that traffic and then the uh, traffic source of uh, the YouTube search. So just incredible to see all this. I just can't thank you guys enough. And then we'll have a little bit more on the edge of it because obviously we still have a couple days left of the year, but yeah, we gotta do this at some point. So that's why we're here. In the engagement tab, 2,200 hours of watch time. Thank you guys so much for all the support on that. It just means the world to me that so many of you are taking your time to watch these videos. And in our very high uh, view duration, that's up 29% as well. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, up 14% from last year is the average view duration at four minutes and 35 seconds. My content is much longer than the average content, especially in the aviation community. So I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos. I really enjoy thorough evaluations and things along the lines of that is why the content content is so long, but I seriously can't thank you guys enough for watching the content, regardless of the duration and length. Um, so, I mean, there's different statistics down here and these are kind of oddball ones, but again, thank you guys so much. All, most of the watch, or sorry, uh, 5.6 thousand, yeah, 5,600 hours, that's what I was looking for. Hours of watch time on massive unboxing 10, thank you guys so much for that. Along with 50, uh, the um, Mass Unboxing 16 and 10 also up there, pretty high on the list as well. So thank you guys so much for that. Also enjoyed using the community tab this year. Thank you guys for all the support on all those community tab posts. And then the playlist also doing their thing. And then the end screen's actually going pretty strong too. So thank you guys for that. Uh, and then we had some card clicks and things like that. And then uh, the ending clicks. So thank you guys so much for all the support on that. I can't thank you guys enough. In the audience tab, this is a little janky, so bear with it, but uh, it doesn't say the unique viewers and uh, the numbers, but it looks like we had quite a few, so thank you guys so much for all the support on that. 1,200 subscribers, thank you guys so much for that. That is significantly down 32% from 2020, but there is a big reason for that, and that's because at the beginning of every video, I stopped saying like and subscribe because I don't want to annoy you guys with that, and quite frankly, that's not the reason that I'm making these videos. However, I will say if you would like to see all this content in 2022 and for years to come, feel free to click that subscribe button if you would like to. Again, I stopped putting that at the beginning of videos because I, I just wanted to dive fully into the video. And sometimes I'll mention at the end of videos, but at the end of the day, I just didn't think that it was right to keep saying that at the beginning of the video. So that's what happened there. But still, a 1,200 subscribers is remarkable, and I'm very, very pleased with that. So thank you guys so much for all the support. It seriously means the world, and I don't know what I would do without you guys. Um, and then again, here's some other channels as well. I've watched all of these, so these are fairly realistic. So nice lineup right here of miscellaneous aviation channels. And then uh, most, only believe it or not, 57% of my viewers are from the United States. Um, that really, that number really needs to be emphasized because the international population of viewers is incredible. 5% from the UK, which is incredible. And I don't look at this a lot because I really focus on making the content, but there is times where I feel like coming down here to take a look at this is incredible. So. Um, there, I just wanted to see if there's other, okay, so I guess there's not a, another or a other category. So these are all the countries. So if you see your country, comment down below in the comment section, but over a hundred thousand views internationally, that's incredible guys. I don't think you guys understand how much that means to me. Uh, 15,000 views from the United Kingdom, United Kingdom, comment down in the comment section, 5,000 from Canada, th 3,000 from Indonesia, if I said that right, hopefully I did. 2,000 from India, 2,000 from the Philippines, 1,800 from Australia, uh, 1,300 from Mexico, 1,200 from Vietnam, 800 from Ireland, and there's a long list of countries down here. So seriously, guys, thank you so much for all the support. I seriously can't thank you guys enough. It is so cool to see all these different countries listed here. And it really just shows how far the aviation community can go. Yes, I make a lot of videos surrounding the United States topics on aviation, but to see all you guys supporting my videos all around the world is incredible. And that's what makes my day to see that. I mean, 15,000 people, six hours. My videos come out at 10 o'clock in the UK and we still have 15,000 views from that country. Yes, not everybody's probably gonna watch it at that time frame, but just to see the amount of support from the around the world on mainly US content is seriously something else. So uh, guys, I just can't thank you enough for all support on this content. It's just, 
Something I can't even wrap my head around. Um, you guys saw my initial reaction. I didn't even know that we had 15,000 views from the United Kingdom. And that's just full, thoroughly incredible. So to everybody watching, thank you so much. And that just is amazing. And I can't forget about my United States guys. 170,000 views this year, thoroughly impressive. You guys rock, thank you so much. And then, you know, there's different statistics throughout here as well. Um, I don't know if any of them are the most practical, but uh, just looking around here, uh, you guys rocking that notification bell as well. And then quite a few of you still aren't subscribed. I'm not gonna complain at this point. <laughs> uh, oh, I've already talked about that. And then um, different age groups, quite a few 18, 24, that's my age group. So all good in that regard. And then um, just incredible guys, that's just unbelievable. I will leave the revenue to myself, but what I will say is thank you guys so much for watching those advertisements. If you do, it really means the world to me and that's really helped produce content back into the channel. And I'm very, very pleased with the result of that. So thank you guys so much for being a part of that. I really appreciate it. And you guys rock for making that happen. So ultimately, what a year it was in analytic world. I never look at that really again. I just make the content and enjoy the passion. That's my goal. So, um, but seriously guys, thank you so much for all the support on that. I seriously can't thank you guys enough. And with all that being said, we're gonna transition into the uh, 2022 preview and what's to come. So with that being said, everybody, let's dive into the preview for 2022. And man, I am so excited for this upcoming year. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. And hopefully everything's gonna go according to plan. I do say hopefully because obviously mono happened in 2021 and there was a lot of elements that went into why 2021 was what it was despite still having an amazing year. But I'm so excited for what's to come. So let's enjoy this 2022 preview. And here we go. So I'm not gonna go into anything particular. I'll leave that for the sake of what's to come and that sort of thing. I also did a channel update a couple of days ago if you'd like to check out what I'm expecting for Q1. But there will be some different things coming as well. Flight Simulator is definitely gonna be making a presence at some point. I'm currently getting my grooves and my flows back going in Flight Simulator land. But Flight Simulators are gonna be coming back along with live streams as well. Hopefully that's also another ultimate goal of mine is to get these live streams back and rocking for 2022. And even the comp with that I also there was one other element I think it was uh, pilot life content which is also going to be a huge emphasis of 2022 and we'll talk about that more in the future in some different videos as well but for a brief 2022 preview what do we have you're probably wondering well the first thing that I have here is to enjoy the last few months of being in the house before we go there to college and to have big things happen as well. So if you guys do not know, I'm currently a senior in high school at age 18. I have one final semester left at my local high school before I'm gonna be transitioning into college, going into the major of professional pilot. I'm really excited, but a little nervous at the same time because this is gonna be such a big transition, especially for my personal life. You guys, the viewers as well, in the content form of land, or in content land, pardon me. And there's gonna be a lot of elements that are gonna turn, turn us into, what, or sorry, you know, it's gonna take us into 2022. So my ultimate goal is to enjoy this final semester at the house and do everything I can to the best of my ability, have an awesome summer, I have big things planned for the summer as well, and to make a lot of amazing content, go plane spotting at Tulsa International Airport, continue to make these airport updates, massive unboxings, flight simulator content, uh, trip reports, the real life series content, Daytona Beach stuff, everything in between, uh, you name it, I am thoroughly committed to doing as such. So I'm really excited and I hope you guys are as well for that. Big, big things ahead. You guys are not gonna wanna miss it. Um, with that, that takes us into the transitioning in college, which will be about August, September of 2022. And I just really want the transition to go as thoroughly as possible. Obviously things are gonna be changing a little bit. And again, I know I keep mentioning it, but I will talk about that more in depth at a later time when I have more, um, you, when I have more of an idea of what I'm going to plan to do. But obviously a couple things need to fall into place before I make that decision. But I'm very, very excited for it. I think it's gonna go really well. It is gonna be a little bit different, so I hope you guys are willing to bear with me through this process, but I do think you guys are going to. It thoroughly enjoyed the change, and I think it's gonna be really good. So I hope you guys are excited for that, and that is what I have there as well. I only had one goal for 2021, which was to do what you love and love what you do, and the reason I only had one goal is that's literally it, and everything falls into that subcategory. The only reason that I mentioned those two previously is because I think it's thoroughly important 
to have two awesome eras of, or you know, that transitioning period, two awesome periods of 2022. Thoroughly enjoyed this period, the last uh, semester of high school. Enjoyed the summer as well. Make it happen. Have an awesome final time at the house. Huge hurrah here to enjoy this final period. And then transition into college to do our best. But ultimately, regardless of what we're doing, regardless of what education form I'm doing, regardless of where I'm at, what I do want to do is do what you love and love what you do. And that's my main message to you guys in 2022. If you're looking for any advice, if you're looking for any desires, helps, that sort of thing, do what you love and love what you do. Because truly, you know, everybody's in a different place in their life. You know, like we just talked about five minutes ago, I have viewers from the United Kingdom. I have viewers from the Philippines. I have viewers from the United States and anywhere in between. But regardless, we are all human beings. We all have an interest in aviation, most likely, and we all have different things going on in our personal lives, different cultures, different backgrounds, and different standards to what everybody does. And I completely respect all of those for everybody, regardless of where you're located, what you're, uh, what you're doing in life, that sort of thing. But my biggest piece of advice to anybody, no matter what portion of life they're in or what they're doing, is to do what they love and love what they do for the simple reason as, I thoroughly feel like everybody deserves happiness happiness, pardon me, in the best way they possibly can. And even though not everybody's situation is perfect, no matter you know that things do not happen the way that you, everybody may want them to in a, a particular way, including myself and including everyone of you probably watching this video, we are still human beings like I previously mentioned and we have to do our best every single day to do what we love and love what we do. Whether that's aviation or uh, personal life hobbies or different things like that, we just gotta keep doing it. And you know, there's at different times, we live in a really interesting society to this day. I'm not gonna get uh, go into detail about that. What I am gonna say though, is there's a lot of external pressures, a lot of stresses, and a lot of things that we have to keep up with regardless of what uh, stage of life that we're in. And due to this, sometimes life can be overwhelming. It can be very challenging, but at the same time, there can also be a ton of ups. It can be very fun and it can be desirable. But if we continue to live by the memo or motto, whatever you like to call it, of do what you love and love what you do, you likely in most situations will experience more happiness than you will, um, the, you know, sadness, if you will. And, you know, like I said, there's a lot going on. This was one of the most challenging times of my life, making it through mono. But I, there was also a ton of amazing things, including getting to fly for the first time since the pandemic began, having all you amazing fans watching 2,200 hours worth of con 22,000 hours, pardon me, worth of content on my channel. And, you know, beginning to fly for the first time this year and everything in between. It just meant the absolute world to me. And I'm so excited for what's to come. Thanks to you guys. And like I said, this is going to be a transitioning period for all of us. A lot of things are going to be going on this year. Who knows where the pandemic will stand as we end 2022 in about 12 months. Who knows where the world's going to be. Hopefully it gets better. Hopefully things improve. But regardless of what's going on, we just have to continue to live by the memo, motto or whatever it's called. My bad. I think it's motto of do what you love and love what you do. And that's where I'm going to finish this video because that is the thoroughly right place in my opinion to do as such. And that's going to do it for the 2021 review, pardon me, in the 2022 preview. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you all an awesome 2022, and I really hope you guys had an awesome 2021. And I'm so, so excited for what's to come. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And like I just said, we're going to do what we love and love what we do till the end of time in my opinion but everybody has different opinions different ideas different concepts things like that and i completely respect those so that is why i'm going to end the video where i just uh left it so with all that being said everybody thank you guys so much for watching my name is red river aviation take it easy everybody stay safe trust the process do what you love and love what you do my name is red river aviation i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys into 2022 as red river aviation is signing off Did you guys really think the video was over? Have an awesome 2022, everybody.